Right, welcome back to the Average Golfers channel. We're at Wallasey Golf Club. There's a bit of breeze and we're going to be testing what I think is one of the most interesting categories of irons. Almost what everyone desires right now. It's what they call the player's distance iron. The way I'd interpret that, it's an iron that looks really good. It's not overly big and bulky. Stronger, lofted without going ridiculous, and often they've got a bit of feel, bit of style about them, good looking irons. They sort of tick every box for the mass majority, whether you're a higher handicapper who's got ideas of moving up a little bit, or you're a lower handicapper looking for a little bit of help and assistance from the blade you've maybe played for many years. So I'm going to be testing five clubs and I'll give you my opinion on what is my top five players distance irons for 2021. So players distance irons, well it's an interesting one just in the category alone, you've got it that one and it ain't going nowhere. I want to know from you, what do you think of these categories before we go any further? I've called this, like I said, my top five players distance irons, we've got blades now, we've got um, what game improvement irons, we've got super game improvement irons. But this category for me, like I said, appeals to the masses. So I want you to comment down below, what category do you put yourself in, in terms of the irons that you'd be looking to buy? Well, interestingly enough, we're, we're a bit too early, the flags aren't out on the back nine, so we're aiming from the middle of the green. We've hit that just a little bit on the left-hand side, but more than happy with the stripe. It's about time I started to reveal what are my top five. So at number five in the iron that I've just hit comes from PXG. It's their Gen 4. It's their players model within this range. So there's three models within the range, but in terms of this category, players distance iron, then I've put their P model in. Why is it at number five? What makes it an interesting product? Well, in terms of loft, you're gonna find exactly the same for pretty much all five of these, I think are split by just uh, one degree, maybe half a degree, and either 30 to 31 degrees. No difference there. Aesthetically, I always think PXG is something that kind of, um, I always say Marmite and some of the US don't understand what that means. They kind of love it or hate it is the, uh, is the description I'd give. So the nuts and bolts look at the back. I actually prefer Gen 3 in terms of visuals, to be honest with you, but again, very much a personal thing. They've got the feel element really good. Feel and sound, I think, again, is a big tick in the box. This category is again made up of that forged, but hollow bodied sets of irons. And again, you'll see more of those creep up into the next top four. They do this really well though with the sound and feel is exceptional. Performance is really, really good. The downside for me is these are still priced, even though we've seen massive reductions for PXG, 220 an iron still puts it at the top end. And that's the reason I'd mark it down a little and it drops out of the mix in terms of being higher up in this order because for performance and sound and feel, it'd be right up there near that top slot. So number five, PXG Gen 4, the P model. Well, that's slightly down that left hand side, left green side bunker. I got a kick just inside it, but at number four, it's one from Cobra. And I think that uh, this comes in uh, for a number of different reasons, to be quite honest with you. Let's start off with a big one, it's a price point. Really well priced for what it is. I think it's a decent looking iron from Cobra. It's their Forge Tech, by the way, I should mention that. And as you can see, once again, goes into that category, like I said, of a forged-ish club. Hollow body with some magic in the middle. Bit of tungsten in there. Visually, again, a fairly compact club, fits perfectly within this player's distance iron category. Once again, I would say that the feel on this thing is, well, nothing like Forge, to be quite honest with you. It's a softer feeling club, but it's not what you call classic Forge. That's where I'd mark it down, price point being really high. But in terms of distance, iron again, in and around that, I can't remember off the top of my head what it is, but in and around that 30 degrees worth of loft. So fairly strong in terms of its ball flight, but at the same time, easy to launch. You've just got that happy medium, sits on the top line, not overly thick, and from heel to toe again, not overly long. So it ticks all the boxes, but the major one being for me is the price point that sticks this one in at number four. Well, that's that high launching ball. We've got this one right on the pin. If we've got the yardage right. Oh, probably on the lower tier, but still take that any day of the week. But the club that finishes in third place is from Titleist, and it is the T200 range. And 
honestly this club is so so first of all so so what so so good but i'll tell you the reasons it's so good first of all the way it looks for me this type of category is really interesting and i think visually they all sort of will appeal to a certain demographic i really do they all look good but this thing a bit of chrome on it always like something a bit shiny but it's the back end that's different than the norm and again when they go to this sort of filled cavity if you like it can sometimes get a little bit ugly but i think what they've done tight this this year is make a real good looking club and the version of this is sticks out on mile within this t-series range a few weeks ago i asked the question why would anyone buy the t100s and uh, it was for the reason based on looks to be honest with you and not really sticking jumping out to me in terms of shelf appeal not ticking many boxes well this does the complete opposite first of all i want to grab it off the shelf and have a go because it looks really good but then the second thing is the feel I was disappointed with the feel of the T100s, a forged iron, whereas this is a forged face. We've got some tungsten in there, but the sound and feel is absolutely spot on. It's got, again, a great look from above. That kind of thing where it's not overly bulky appeals to that kind of player's market, but then it's got the forgiveness, that tungsten weighting in there. You've seen the ball flight, still strong and powerful off the face, really ticks every box. Again, apart from just one, and that is the price point, this product comes in at probably at the higher end in terms of what we've looked at so far, um, apart from that PXG in at number five. But that's where I'd only mark it down on, otherwise it'd be in that number one or two slot, to be honest with you. Really, really nice effort there from Titus from these T200s. And I don't really think there's anything you could pick fault with in terms of looks, performance. It's just a real, real winner. And that's why it sits in at number three and only marked down because of that price point. Right, we're getting to the interesting bit. We're into the top two. And the question is, what iron have I got in my hand right now? Right, we need a little bit of finesse with this one. Oh, he's played one. Great bit of control. Well, more than happy with that shot. We're kind of about six foot for birdie, but yeah, a bit of control, a bit of finesse, like that shot. And what is it? Well, it's from TaylorMade. It's the P790. And for me, over the last four years since these were first introduced, a game changer might be a bit too uh, much of a claim. But this hollow body construction, this one piece construction, certainly was brought to prominence by TaylorMade with this P790. It's a huge selling iron for them and appeals to the mass market. It's a, what they class themselves as players distance iron, but it's forgiving. It's in a fairly compact profile. It sits really well in amongst its uh, the P770s. Again, don't forget to blend the set in. Visually, all they've done over the years is they've made little tweaks. And again, the shaping has changed. The markings have changed. But I think what they've come up with right now is a real good looking iron. And it does everything, like I said, that you would ask for. And then when you go into the longer end of the bag, it still allows us average golfers to potentially play four and five iron with the amount of forgiveness that's in there. The ball speeds that are coming off these things. It's not overly strong in terms of its um, loft, but it does sit in again, I think it's 31 degrees, this uh, particular seven iron. But it's got great feel. I think again, where amongst this top five, some perhaps I think if you go back to the Cobra Forge Tech, not brilliant feeling you compare it to that i think it's you know essentially the same build of club but i think they do it so much better in terms of the sound and feel that comes out the p790 that's why it would be here and it's a sort of mr reliable if you like it's been around for four years now third iteration of the club i don't think you can go wrong so as an average golfer looking for a player's distance iron number two would be the p790 Ah, oh, try to keep that one down a bit. Go and kick off. Kick off. Oh, it's probably pin eye. We're playing into a bit of a wind. We've got a bit of sunshine and you'll notice the flag is now in position. We've come all the way full circle to play this hole again. My number one iron. And one of the things is kind of that, that little bit of playability that these clubs certainly offer, that players category, but with forgiveness. But this one does it just a little bit better and it's just a little bit of a neater package for me. It's from Callaway and it's the Apex. Once again, been around for a few years this thing, but in the last couple of years, 
what they've done is refined it they've also broadened the range in terms of what you can get in that apex range but for me this is their players distance category and it sort of ticks that multiple boxes that we've already been through before but so it's forgiving launches the ball nice and easy very playable like i said about a bit of workability there a little bit more compact than the others in terms of sole width and in terms of the top line for me and heel to toe if i measure them all that might be quite true but certainly on my eye it just looks that little bit neater over the ball and address once again because of what the apex range has done in terms of broadening their offering from dcb perhaps in long irons right the way up to the sort of pro and the mbs you can certainly look to put a set together that meets every aspect of your game but they've got kind of where it's every box sound and feel really good the thing they do and why it's my number one is because they offer it in just a little bit more compact profile than the others do so visually again looks wise i think it looks stunning fairly neat it's apex classic in terms of the way it's looked been around like i said that kind of visual for a while but got plenty of shelf appeal and like i said hard to pick fault with that one as it is with all of them to be honest with you splitting airs i think this is the category that appeals most to average golfers and the one that's improved over the last few years significantly so whichever one you went for out of them five like i've said in previous videos that's mine put together for my own personal preferences and why i've chosen them yours might be completely different but that's me anyway i'm done thank you for wallacy golf club for having us on what again has turned out to be a gorgeous morning here a bit of breeze on the links just as i like it if you've enjoyed what you've seen this morning then please consider hitting that subscribe button like this video hit the like button but more importantly get in that comment section below give me your feedback tell me how you think i went right or where i went wrong and what your top five most not most forgiving best players irons players distance irons would have been for 2021 i got there in the end right see you soon